Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Dr. John Casper, I'm having a fabulous day, and it just got better with you arriving for my audience. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I want my audience to know that I get to present to you today is Dr. John Casper. He's a urologist. He's here to talk about BPH issues. Now, from what I understand, it's a common health, uh, common men's health condition, and it affects your lifestyle, and treat, but treatment can improve your life. So, Dr. Casper... What is BPH before we get into the conversation? Yes, well, BPH stands for benign prostatic hyperplasia, and that is the benign or normal growth of the prostate. Uh, It is not cancerous. It's just the normal growth of the prostate. And let's back up one step further. What is the prostate? The prostate is a walnut-sized organ in man that sits between the bladder and the urine tube and it continues to grow forever. Okay. I understand you did a survey and it revealed some things about the urinary side effects and the impact on the quality of life. What are those findings? That, that's a great question. Um, so as that prostate grows forever, it crimps the urine tube to give symptoms. So the symptoms of frequency, urgency, getting up to go to the bathroom several times at night. So we know it affects uh, a significant number of men, almost 50% above the age of 45 and continues as we get older. So those surveys are showing that men try to avoid social interactions because they're mapping out bathrooms. They're kind of changing what they wear. They're getting up at night. They're avoiding it. So, so when they get up at night, the one thing that happens is they are more fatigued during the day. They don't want to interact. They've lost their uh, sort of cognitive abilities and they can't focus as well. They sleep in separate bedrooms because they don't want to wake up their partner. And some even try medications and over 25% say they don't like their medications because they're ineffective. That's interesting. Tell me about this uh, system called the Eurolift system. And how is it different than just taking medication or getting the problem fixed with surgery? Sure. The Eurolift system is a a minimally invasive procedure that's done in the outpatient type of setting. Um, the, The advantage is it has no cutting, no heating, no removal of tissue and it you still can preserve sexual function so so the advantage is you can get people off of their medications which have side effects and the medications can cause stuffy nose headaches dizziness and affect sexual function then the larger procedure which most men are used to hearing is the TURP or TURP sometimes known as the rotor rooter and that procedure has permanent sexual side effects. It has, so the Eurolift system has a more rapid recovery, gets patients off of medications, and there have been over 350,000 of these procedures performed worldwide. Okay, looking at the BPH treatment, it's important. Uh, how is it more important than the minim- minimally invasive outpatient procedures? Is there something to compare here? Well, yes. Um, it's, it's, it's such a minimally invasive procedure that within about two to four weeks, these men are off their medication and return to normal activity so they don't map these bathrooms out any further. They're getting up fewer times at night. They're more rested. Uh, they don't have the sexual side effects. Um, and, and like I said, uh, 
it's more ra rapid relief within two to four weeks rather than about six to 12 months. Okay. I'm going to take this one. Uh, they listen to the Valder Bibi show multiple platforms, and someone has posted in, what is that, Twitter. They want to know how do they determine, where do they start to determine this, that they may have this problem. All they know is that they're getting up at night. Right. Well, well, one way is you can go to the website, Eurolift.com, and on that website is a symptom checker. And that is a questionnaire that will actually determine are your symptoms uh, mild, moderate, or severe. And if they are moderate or severe, it's probably time to see a physician. And there's a physician locator on that website, so you can actually get some help for that problem. Doctor, I want to thank you so very much. Uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask, is there a certain age group that's more affected by BPH, or is it just a male problem? Well, th there is an age group, and you hate to say the older group, but, but men from 45 to about 60, it affects 50% of men. So uh, we're... By age, Go ahead, I'm sorry. Now, by age 70, it's 80% of men. By age 80, it's over 90% of men are affected. Okay. My audience, that I want to send you guys to Eurolift.com. And, doctor, if they go to Eurolift.com, I'm sure they'll find everything they're kind of looking for, and the next step would be with their uh, physician. Yes, they, they'll see everything they're looking for. Like we had mentioned, the, the symptom checker or the international prostate symptom score will be there and a physician locator. Dr. Casper, I want to thank you for taking from your busy schedule because I heard you've been doing what you're doing for 25 years or more, and I know you're busy. So thanks for taking out of your busy schedule to stop by the Valder Beebe Show. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Valder. I appreciate your time and help with this problem. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.